It's been almost a year. Yet we still know nothing about them. Who they are. Where they come from. Why they drill all day long. All we know is since they came. Two quiet hours a day. Is all we have. What was that? I'm not sure. A gunshot? No, it can't be. No, I heard an engine. It could have been anything. What if there were people out there and they found us without dead It's up? nothing, okay? Would you shoot someone if you had to? Go back to sleep. What's she saying? Uh, they've left the Ukraine and south of Europe. Some country's name I couldn't understand. Shit. Turn it off. Why? Because it creeps me out, okay?
go out the back, make sure to lock the door behind you, okay? Is anybody there?
Hello survivors, Tom Connolly here playing just for you. Dad? Dad? Who are you? God, what is wrong with you? I told you to shut the door. I'm sorry. That's the second time. Do you want to get us killed? been shot. Where? In the leg. Could that be what we heard last night? Sarah? Are you going to fix his leg? Well, you shouldn't. You stole our food. He held the light closer. Is he going to die? No. At least not from me hitting him. What's this? A survival blanket. Judo Doherty from Manchester, twenty seven. You see. One of their mines. Looks incredibly deep. I heard they're taking minerals from the core of the planet. Can you see them? No. See what Dad thinks when he gets home. Do you think he'll be back tonight? Sarah? No, oh, for Christ's sake, Tom, how could I possibly know?
Good girl. Coffee? There isn't much milk. It's been a while since she had babies. Will she stop producing it? Eventually. I'm sorry, okay? It must be Dad. Hello? You catch a fever washing in that filthy water. Why did you run away? I meant you no harm. I suppose you don't see many people in these parts. It's quite isolated, isn't it? No. Who else is there? My brother. And my father. How old are you? I'm 25. talking about. You're lying to me, Sarah. Can you tie him up? Sarah. Sarah? Fine. You've got ten minutes to get him out. Ten minutes, or Big Bad Wolf will be knocking on your door. Over. How many are there? I'm not sure. At least two. I think there might be more hiding in the back. Let's just take him out, as she said. He must be with them. Then you tell them it's just the two of us and then we'd be screwed. We might as well kiss our animals goodbye. He wouldn't know. He's still knocked out, isn't he? Come on, let's take him out. What, so they can invite themselves over? We can take him out through the window. I'll help. I imagine they want to kill him. So what? He's a thief. That would be murder. Sarah, we can't keep him here. What if he breaks free? Could be dangerous. And what do you suggest? That we kill him? with me. Sarah? 
I didn't mean to frighten you. Your friend has already contacted us. My friend? The woman who contacted me on my CV. I'm alone. Do you think I'm stupid? They've been following me. Why? How did you get here if you weren't in their van? I bundled myself inside survival blankets. Old ones that the army dug out of them, full of woven asbestos fibre. They work if the patrol vessels fly high enough. But it's like playing Russian roulette. I was lucky. But believe me, these are not good people. Untie me and I'll help protect the house. Keep quiet. I don't trust you. Is it the uniform? Maybe. But I'm not a soldier. I'm a journalist. And then why are you dressed like one? I took the clothes from a dead one. Look in my front pocket. There's a picture in there. Please, take a look at it. What is it? It's my wife and daughter. They're dead. So what? Is that supposed to make you a good man? Oh, come on, you can see that I was shot. Could have been an accident. A self-inflicted wound. Do you think you can hold the fort alone? You don't know what they're capable of. They won't stop until they've got your farm. Well, it seems to me like it's you they want. No, don't delude yourself. How many farms with solar panels and livestock do you think you can find around these parts? Please, untie me. So you can open the door to your friends. You can't beat him alone. Our father will be back soon. Where is he? He went to town to get some supplies. And how soon will he be back? Soon enough. How many of them are there? Five. Used to be six, but one of them was spotted by the blasters last night. That must be all. Tom. I went inside an abandoned house to look for some food, and one of them followed me without cover. I escaped just before the blast. If what you're telling me is true, then why are they trying so hard to catch you? <laughs> you're a liar. Please, let me help you. No, no, no. What are you doing? Shutting him up. Let him talk, Sarah. Be quiet.
Those guys will kill your sister. And then they'll come down here and they'll kill me and you. But you will not swap them. <laughs> there is a knife in the side pocket of my bag. Get it for me and let me help. I'm not gonna hurt you. Promise. <laughs> Thanks. Are the other shorts locked? No. Be safe now. Tom? Sarah? Are you okay? What did he do to you? <laughs> Your sister's fine. Did you hear them leave? I heard an engine. They moved the van. They've broken into the barn. They'll attack us again at sunset. That's her husband I've just killed.
Doing a good job cleaning up my leg. You're a nursing student. Something like that. Tell me what you did to them. Tell me the truth. I killed one of them. Her brother. They killed my wife and daughter. They broke into the basement where they were hiding and ransacked it. My wife tried to defend what little food we had. And they killed her. I came back from a water run and found them carrying boxes to their van. And I just hid. I remember her wiping blood on her pants and him eating our food and her brother bragging about what he'd just done. Thought I'd never see him again. And then a couple of days ago, I'm hiding in a bunker on the coast and I hear a voice. Her brother's. I killed him whilst he slept and ran. They've been chasing me ever since. And your daughter? They got her too. How do you know he isn't making up stories to make us feel sorry for him? Tom. Was he in the picture he showed you? No. And you don't know for sure, do you? He saved my life. Maybe he plays the good guy till he's done with the people outside. Look, we are all in this together. I'm just we saying we should watch our backs. He killed a man before your eyes. How do you know he's not going to kill How us How can too? you judge him so harshly? You can't even see him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. That's another five. I hope you're a good shot. It's a nice radio. You taught you how to use it. My father. Your father sounds like quite the survivalist. He didn't. He doesn't like to take things for granted. He wanted to be prepared if it all went to shit. Did you get your electricity from the solar panel? Some, but we saved the batteries for the radio. Strangely lately. What do you mean? Their patterns have changed. I've been drilling like crazy. Like there's no tomorrow.
Tom, why don't you fetch us a bottle of wine? After all, it's been a long time since we've had a guest. Sure. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. When did Tom lose his sight? He was flash blinded the day they came. He was outside feeding the cattle with mum. All he remembers is this intense light. I'm urging him to run away. She died. That's the last thing he saw. And your father? I saw his grave. They got him, didn't they? I saw a blast in the distance a couple of days ago. Is that why you came here? I was hoping to find people. Life. Yeah, and you left them to us. I didn't know that they were following me. I'm sorry. Tom needs to know. The longer you wait, the harder it's gonna be. You know, this is none of your business. So you're going to keep lying to him? Give him false hope? Sorry. It's burnt. We ran out of oil. Hello? What happened to my husband? Did you kill him? Well... There's been enough bloodshed as it is. Release your guest and we'll be square. He's gone. I'm not. He cut his ties and escaped. When? A couple of hours ago. He's probably dead by now. If not, the survival blankets won't protect him for long. What did he do with my husband's body? He's still with us. Take him down at sunset so we can give him a Christian burial. We'll leave the house as soon as it's done. We have our word. Over. What do you think? I wouldn't believe him. But she should be allowed to bury her husband. That's not what they want him for. What do you mean? Well, they need to eat to survive. And what about you? Have you been eating dead people too? Of course not. They gave us their word. It means nothing. It's worth taking a chance. They might go away. If what I think will happen, happens, they'll be able to stay out there for days while we're stuck in here with no food or water. What do you think, Tom? I think you need to leave. Tom. If he left, they'd go. No, they wouldn't. They'd come back for the farm. 
We need his help. We were fine before he turned up. He wouldn't make it out there by himself. I don't care if he dies. I'm... I'm sorry. He didn't mean that. Are they back? Yeah. Sure call. Okay. Will you come with me? Back in a minute, okay? You're right. You all right? Dad should be back by now. They thought they could contain him. But once they totaled our satellites, we were done for. The heat, the smell, that stench of decaying flesh. There were no words for it. And soon there were no newspapers to send them to. So I got back in the car, drove home fast as I could. Is there anyone left in cities? No. The blasters didn't leave them a chance. And the, the old fire blankets, the solar panels, they're just drops in the ocean. And those who have survived have become animals. They hide in basements or bunkers. They get sick or lose their minds. Have you heard of anyone actually making contact with them? No. 
Never. Maybe there isn't anyone. Maybe they just sent the machines. Or maybe they just don't give a shit about us. Is that what you believe? That they don't care? And why would they? What makes us more special than ants or field mice or dolphins? Our art? Our ability to build, to think about our life in sequences? Well, ants build incredibly sophisticated colonies. Birds decorate their nests. Yeah, but they don't regret, they don't dream, they don't hope. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. It's probably for the best. They won't get hurt that way. Tom, uh, why don't you play something for us? I don't feel like it. Come on, do it for me. What shall I play? What you were playing over the radio? Hello? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can come in. What did you study? Veterinary medicine. First year. Doesn't matter now though, does it? You could have studied English lit like me. Believe me, you won't want me sewing your leg up. <laughs> what happened to your father? I found him yesterday morning, a few yards from here. He must have been confused. Maybe his watch stopped or something. When he left, I vaguely remember waking up. Remembering I'd forgotten to turn off the alarm the night before. I don't 
find myself it was weird it hadn't rung and I just fell straight back to sleep And when my alarm did go off a few minutes later, I got out and I saw his bike leaning against a tree. And you really think it was a mistake? What are you saying? Maybe just wanted to get it over with. No. No, my father was a fighter. He kept saying that we had to keep going. That we could never give up. He would never. In this world, people change. was a mistake, okay? My father wasn't a coward. I would never have abandoned us like that. He, he knew I couldn't protect Tom alone. Or maybe you knew you could. Maybe you thought you were stronger than him. You are, Sarah. You're stronger than you think. Where were you when all this started? It's just grocery shopping with my wife. We were bickering. Because I was wasting money on expensive food and she was trying to save a few quid to go to France in the summer. Sounds trivial now. What was her name? Lisa. My daughter's name was Marty. She was such a lively little girl. She was always dancing around. Lisa said she'd become a ballerina. I remember the last night before I left them. Marty woke up. She wanted to come with me. She wouldn't let go of my hands. Somehow she knew.
Sarah.
paper towels around with them. He's all I have left. Tom's alive, okay? But where the hell are they? They're in the cellar. Taken by surprise. What are you doing? It's Vernia. It'll smoke them out.
Stay here, okay? She's not here. Blankets have gone. Tom? <coughs> Get up. Come over here, boy.
Why did you shoot him? There was no need. He killed my brother. You killed his wife? No. They were already dead. His wife ran to her death with their child. She just couldn't take it anymore. We found him scavenging for tomatoes in a garden. We took him back to our bunker. I guess we didn't agree on what we had to do to survive. You were wrong. And because you wouldn't listen, you got my husband killed. He tried to rape me. I don't believe you. Jesus, trust me. We need to go. We'll come back when it's safe. said about Jude. I know.
Are you sure this is what you want? Stop. Maybe we should wait. They left the same way they came, without warning. Dad used to say, as long as there's hope in our hearts, we'd survive. He was right. <laughs> 